Hi guys, this is your professor here and I am giving you um, another video on how to get into the databases here. Um, I've given you videos on how to get to specific databases, but I wanted to give you a good one on a general overall how to get into the databases. Um, for any assignment, whether it's a research paper or a paper or a, a discussion post, you can use the databases at your leisure whenever you would like. In fact, they're actually better than Google. I know Google is the go-to, but they're actually better than Google because it gives you better information. So let's get started here. What you're going to do is going to go to the libraries, go to lonestar.edu, then libraries. Then you're going to go into research databases on the left. And you have a whole plethora of places to go here. Now, I'm going to go um, to literature first because we are in English class. And I, wanted, I want to show you the databases that are available to you in that database. When we are done there, we're going to go to the current issues and news database because there's a couple things there that are also usable. So let's click to let's click on literature here. And we have all these wonderful databases. Let me go ahead and click literary criticism articles here. And this is a plethora of information. And when I mean plethora, I mean there's a lot of information here. Um, some of the f my, some of my favorites to use for English class have to be Academic Search Complete. And Academic Search Complete is a database that say if you're doing um, in a uh, social issues paper of any of any kind, and you need to do any research, this is a good database to use. Of course, you're going to click on that, and it's going to ask you for your login. And you'll log in like you usually do, and lots of information will come up here. Um, lots and lots of information will come up here. So um, you have this wonderful database to use. Let me go back, click here. And we got another database. Let's click on references and overviews. And you have more sources here. You've probably heard me talk about Bloom's literature before, if you, especially if you're in my 1302. This is where I get some information as well when we're looking at context and we're looking at writer, writers and writer's purpose. Or if we're wanting to know more information about a certain piece of literature that we're studying, this is going to be your best bet. It is better than. Um, it's better than like Scrib Notes. Um, it really is. And it's actually a source you can use. So you can use that. Credo Reference is actually one of my favorites. So I'll click on that. Um, it'll ask you to sign in again. Then you sign in. I like Credo Reference because you can put any topic in Credo here. Um, say like you're doing something on racism. And you can click on search here um, and it will bring up a lot of information. Um, consider this Wikipedia on steroids. Um, it has all the information. It's actually a usable source that you can use in your in your research papers, in any papers you're going to use, in any discussion posts that you use. You can use this one. Um, one, one, one thing that I really like about this database here especially if you're, it's around research paper time, you can click on the main topic here, which is racism. I clicked on that and it'll gives you kind of like a good overview, like Wikipedia would. It gives you some related topics here, right? So if you're doing like maybe a keyword search, these are some keywords to use on the side here. In addition, you also have the mind map, which is really cool. And the mind map helps you kind of not only do keywords, but actually kind of finesse it. So from racism, you can be more specific and say racial segregation, more specific, maybe Jim Crow laws or separate but equal or discrimination. So it kind of helps you here um, to define some terms and makes it a lot more specific if you're kind of in that general headspace. Um, this is not just for English. This can also be for any for any topic that you are researching. Say if you're doing something for history, or if you're doing something for sociology or psychology, these are really good databases as well. 
let's go back here and I want to go back to um, another section that I wanted to talk to talk to you about which is the current issues and news now you're probably looking at other ones here and you're like "Ooh, criminal justice and government and law I'm doing this paper for my for my criminal justice class these are great databases for your class if you're taking a business class here's some great databases for your business class since we're an English class we, we kind of hover around literature and current issues and news so I'm going to click on current issues and news and I'm going to see there's lots of stuff here. There's like Houston news, national news, international news. So I'm going to hit topic overviews here. And a really great database is opposing viewpoints. You've probably used it before, um, but I really like it. Um, just, and you, of course you'll sign in there. I really like the database if you want to get kind of a pro and con if you want to get two sides of an issue or three sides of an issue, depending on, on the issue, there may be more than one side of an issue um, or some of the latest information that kind of helps you as well. Say we go back to racism. And we click on that as the social issue. And so we have lots of information here. We have some viewpoints. Some people are going to talk about police brutality as far as racism. Um, voter ID laws, some other viewpoints, alt-right and misogyny. Um, you have some religion here and monuments, the, the whole thing about monuments being torn down. So you have some of the what's what's happening in the news now and then some of the academic viewpoints on that. You have some really great statistics, which is really great to use on research papers. You have these here as well. Um, and some additional sort, uh, sources here and some audio here. So you have those as um, sources for, for not only your research paper, but also any discussion post that you use. I also wanted to show you uh, another source. So you have all of these wonderful databases that you have through the library, right? But you also have the New York Times. Um, and if you are if you are a Lone Star College student, Lone Star College Kingwood student, you have free access to the New York Times. Um, if you have not seen this little flyer, this little poster that shows you how to do it, I will put it in D2L. Um, so that way you can access it. You've probably have already accessed the New York Times because um, I more than likely have put together an assignment for you that requires that. If you haven't, here's the here's the flyer, and I'll go ahead and put it in, in, in the folder for D2L for you. And the New York Times is also a really good source. Um, the New York Times is considered the newspaper of record. Um, there's a couple of new, newspapers of record um, for, for national news. Um, Washington Post is one. The New York Times is another. USA Today is one, and Wall Street Journal. So those are four pay newspapers that are that are considered the national paper of record, um, and that means that they um, they report on everything, uh, anything and everything, and so um, that makes them valuable sources because they have a extensive um, database of information and knowledge, extensive archives. So there's always a search button here that you can always click on. It'll come down and you can write um, your keyword search here. Then you also have sections. If you click on sections here, you can have world, US, um, science, health, arts. If you're into travel, you can do that too. You also have this menu bar here as well. So I just clicked on health. Um, so you can have those things to come up for information that you need. Um, more than likely, you're probably doing a research paper for me or researching a certain topic. So this is a good opportunity to use this search bar up here. So if you're doing any work for me, whether you're in 1301, 1302, or any of the literature classes that you're taking with me, you have options to do your research. You have databases through, the, through our library databases, and you have the New York Times. And these are all viable and acceptable sources for any work that you do in my class.